Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Today we see how to make a floor proof with a washable cover. I made it completely with unused stuff. I made two of it. First thing uh, is to make an inner core. For that we need a large piece of fabric material. I'm using an unused duvet cover. Then if we are making a medium sized one, uh, we need a 60 by 27 inch piece. The technique to make it is so simple and adaptable. We need to sew the short sides together. I'm using few pins to hold the seams together while sewing it. It helps me a lot because I'm not a sewing expert. Once we've done that, the ender thing will end up with two openings. We can bring it to the rear side. Now we need to use the hand sewing technique and close one of the two openings. In this part, we need to use a strong thread because while we sit on it, the pressure can cause it to snap so easily if you are using a regular thread. I'm using a high quality heavy nylon thread just doing the running stitch method Pull it over and tie the both ends of the thread and secure it. Once you tie it, you can sew over a couple of times so more to give it an extra strength. In the next part, I'm using a one and a half yard ribbon. Cut its edge uh, into a sharpie end, like I show here. Then you can burn the edge to secure it from fraying. You can thread the needle using this ribbon. Go through the part we closed just before. It's a tricky way, it helps us remove the cover for cleaning. The next part is to stuff it well. We can use many things like unused clothing or fiber from old cushions or duet cover. Here I'm using some of the old materials and an old duet. Here I'm cutting open the duet and separating the fiber. Another option is to fill it with bean bag fillings, but the options I'm showing here are really cheap you don't need to spend extra for it using a mixture of fiber and uh, uh, clothing will make it more sturdy and firm make sure the ribbon is at the center and clearly visible on the top while filling it Now we can finish the inner core by closing the opening and remember to use the strong and heavy thread.
once you pull the thread just make it sure it is filled well or uh, you can loosen the thread and stuff it with some extra The second part is to make the cover. I'm using a stretchy velvet fabric. The best option to get a free fabric material is to use unused curtains or uh, bed linens which is uh, looking pretty. The size of the cover is same as the size of the fabric we used for the inner core. I'm making a piping hole on one of the long sides of the material. It helps us to use the drawstring technique to open the cover while we need to clean it. I'm folding a half inch seam and sewing it. After that, we can sew the smaller seams together. To complete the drawstring method, I am using a safety pin and a ribbon. Tie and knot it like the most people do on their lace-up shoes. Now we can insert the inner core into the outer cover by keeping the middle ribbon on position. Just make sure it is on position always. Here it is a bit of how to focus but what I am doing is taking out the ribbon which was in the middle here we can close the last opening and remember to use the strong thread Our final step of the project is to secure a button at the end of the ribbon which we left in the middle. Tighten a way that we can remove the button later because it will help a lot to take out the cover for cleaning. Now we can pull that ribbon tight from the bottom part of the poof. Then join this ribbon with the drawstrings and secure it. Here I am untying the ribbon in the drawstring part and joining it with the middle ribbon then securing it.
to wash it do the reverse just open the drawstring ribbon remove the cover untie the button and that's it an easy project which does not need a great diy skills anyone can do it and it is on a silver budget also so thanks for watching see you later bye